Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be talking about all the new makeup that has just arrived at Sephora. My desk is a hot mess right now, filled with so many products. This one might be a long one. So if you're interested in hearing my collective thoughts about the brand new products out right now at Sephora, then just keep watching. This is a video I've only done once before a few months back, but it was really fun and I want to do them more consistently. But of course it can't be done super frequently because products need to turn over seasonally. But basically what it is, is I go on the Sephora website, I go on the just arrived makeup page, and I talk about the products that I own that are on that page. So I'm not covering everything, just products that I have experience with. And I think it's really fun because I can update you on some products that I previously talked about in the past. Past. I can refer you to my reviews that I've done on the products or I can just like really show you them because there are some things that I would like to get a little bit more time to play with but I still want to talk about them and just show you and preview you the product so let's head over to the website and I'm not sure how Sephora organizes their just arrived makeup because you'll see like I'm talking about some items from a collection but maybe not the whole collection I don't know if it's curated for a spe specific purpose I'm not sure what the algorithm is for what gets to the top of that page and what doesn't but I'm just going to start off from the top because those are the more new popular products that maybe I haven't dug into deep and you're still curious about because there are some older products that maybe aren't as exciting to talk about. So the first one is a very exciting product. This is the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde Palette. Now I have done a full review and tutorial video on this palette and I definitely want to refer you to that because I have a really beautiful look. It's one of my favorite looks that I I've ever done and this palette is incredibly stunning so in the time that I've done that review I just need to tell you I love it more and more I just think it's a really unique palette and that's a very hard thing to do in this day and age with all of the makeup releases that are occurring and constantly coming out but I am so obsessed with this palette I really love the formula of this some people aren't too crazy about Huda Beauty's formula I personally like it a lot I don't think it's Natasha Denona Pat McGrath quality but I do think it's worth the money and just the different textures and finishes to me are what makes it worth it because you can really create very unique dimensional looks because of the textures that they give you and it's just a really interesting color scheme and I did point out in my review like it's not as interesting as you may think it is when you do this it kind of looks like their other palettes but honestly this palette leaves me feeling inspired the packaging is out of this world and I just think it's worth every penny so this definitely gets a thumbs up from me I feel like Huda Beauty products can kind of be a little bit controversial I don't think people really like Huda but she knows how to put a palette together that's all I'm gonna say so let's move on to the next item because we have a lot more to talk about I can't talk about the items too much okay also coming up at the top is this Pat McGrath Labs Chroma Luxe Highlight Cream now this is expensive it's $30 for this tiny little paint tube that you get and this I was really excited for is she also does have a blue color but basically what it is it's a highlight cream and it's almost a little bit gel feeling and you blend it out and this particular shade is pale gold she's really gold for me honestly I really wasn't moved by this product I think that it is really stunning and everything that it is marketed to do it does so this isn't necessarily not a good product. It just doesn't really work for me. It's not something that I see myself grabbing for. The glitters are extremely micro fine and I just really don't have anywhere to wear this. I think for my personal skin tone, this looks best on the eyes, but on my face, it's just a little bit too gold and sparkly. I think that if you have a really deep skin tone and you put this on when you go out at night, it is you are going to love it. Just for me personally, on my eyes, it works better as an eyeshadow, but as you know, I have a crazy eyeshadow collection, so it's not going to be something that I reach for a lot. I also do have a full review on this along with the eyeshadow quad that it came out with, so if you're interested in seeing a demo of it, definitely check that video out. All right, so scrolling down, it looks like next we have some more Huda Beauty products. 
always a talked about brand that's why i'm assuming it's at the top but these are the nude obsessions eyeshadow palettes and you guys were very curious about these and i did not get a chance to review them and a lot of you guys wanted to know my thoughts on them so here it is i can finally talk about them so i've been testing them here and there when i have the opportunity to and i have mixed feelings about them so they are 29 dollars. the pricing did go up a little bit but the packaging is extremely nice i like that it's plastic they just feel a lot more Dirty. I think they're going to be better in travel. So she came out with three different palettes that are supposed to fit a skin tone. But of course, it is not limited to a skin tone. So the first one we have is light. And I kind of mentioned this in another video and you guys are like, what? But I actually don't love this one. Well, I do think it is really pretty, it doesn't move me. And that's not to say I won't use it because when I want a really light kind of fairy like eye, I feel like this palette is perfect. But it's just Blech. to me i feel like these colors are in a bunch of other huda palettes the mercury retrograde has a lot of similar colors to this compared to the other two this one i found the shimmers to be a little bit more chunky that required a little bit more of build up but i'm not saying it's not good it's just my least favorite of the three and i don't know something about it just wasn't my favorite in the way that it applied and I really like it. It is still really pretty but for some reason I'm just not feeling it. However, the medium and the rich so good. You guys are going to love these. I think my, the one that I'll wear the most is the medium. This one is a more warm than the light and the colors just show up better. I don't know. I just like these colors better. I like them more on my eyes. They're more rich. They're more pigmented in my opinion. Just the quality feels better because I feel like she didn't play around as much with getting like a really light ethereal sparkly eye. These are just good pigmented formulas. So loving the medium and let me give you a quick look at the rich. If you like a good plummy eye, this one is very nice as well. Cranberry plummy. This one, the pigmentation is insane. It, I, there are plenty of reviews out there and I feel like people are kind of on the same page with the general like these two are better than the light. But they're all very nice and it depends on the kind of colors you go for. But if you were forcing me to give you a recommendation, I would pick between these two. Okay, so the next item is something that I have shoved down your throat and I don't want to talk about too long because I've mentioned this particular product in every video, but in case you aren't a loyal subscriber who doesn't watch every one of my videos, here you go. <laughs> this is the Fenty Beauty Glossy Posse Mini Gloss Balm Set, and basically can open it. It's a really good deal. You get five different lip glosses from Fenty for $42, five different shades, four of which are completely new to the line, which is extremely rare for a value set during the holidays. Usually they'll take pre-existing colors and put them in and no, you get four brand new colors and the color that is already existing is amazing. I absolutely love this kit. This is one of my favorite holiday sets of this year. You need to get it. The colors are more sheer than you think they would be so don't let the colors intimidate you because they are a little bit bright and dark and all of that but really amazing i need to move on though because i talk about this one too much so this next item is something i'm excited to update you guys on because i do have a full review on it and i feel like it's been a while since i've reviewed this so this is the charlotte tilbury starry eyes to hypnotize eyeshadow palette it is 75 dollars it is limited edition and it is that Charlotte Tilbury formula with 12 eyeshadows and you get a different look in each section. And I have to say, the longer I have this, the more that I enjoy it. Now, I'm staying true to what I said in my review in that if you have a lot of Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palettes, you don't need this. Charlotte seems to be re-releasing colors that already exist, but with different names. I'm going to be honest. All her tones that come out are the absolute same, but if you do not have a lot of Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows. I can't deny the quality of this. They are so buttery. You can get so many different looks from this palette. This is great for every day. This is great for evening. I am really loving this palette. This is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes from her that I've tried this year. The packaging is also incredible because she always has like this brown type of packaging. I'm loving everything about this. So I wouldn't say this is something that you need to absolutely go out and buy. However, if you don't have a lot of her eyeshadows and you really like her formula, I think this is a very good representation of her formula because 
it's a little bit better than her quad formula if you ask me and it's a way better value so been loving this absolutely stunning so next item that i am seeing is the hourglass ambient lighting blush palette from the new ghost collection so this was a whole collection that i will put my review down below there are a lot of other items from that collection that either are not on this list or i just didn't pull them out because i got lazy i'm just gonna refer you to that video but i do want to talk about this because i love this blush palette hourglass probably has my favorite blush formula i'm wearing Wearing this particular blush right now it's a little bit plummy but still brightening it has a really skin smoothing effect on the skin so if you have a lot of texture I really enjoy these types of blushes so this is a great formula this collection as a whole was really beautiful so if you want to expand your hourglass blush collection I would definitely recommend this it is $58 but hourglass has such a unique formula I think that the formula is one of the most flattering on mature skin as well really blurring on the skin really brightening and plumping as well in a good way so love this moving on we're gonna talk about another charlotte tilbury product this is the pillow talk luxury palette of pops she really capitalized on the fame of pillow talk this year and so this is her like pop formula this formula is meant to be used as a lid topper like right on top just to give a little glimmer and you get four shades of that formula it is 53 dollars and honestly i'm not crazy about it i don't really like it too much i just don't think that her palette of pops are really worth the money i have just recently this year started collecting her quads so i wanted to pick this one up and while i do like it i it's not worth it. I feel like you're getting a better value purchasing her palettes or if you want to collect her quads I like those a little bit more because you do get that better formula in there because honestly I, I like this formula but spending $53 on four of them eh, If you have her quads you are going to get that formula normally like one of that formula will be in there But it's not my favorite kind of lid topper glimmery formula So I just don't think this is worth the $53 now if you like this formula it might be for you because hi it is really pretty but I don't know after swatching those Huda ones this one just seems like having one of them is really pretty and nice to put on the eye I'm not saying it's not good quality but the shades just aren't different enough from each other to pay $53 for these tiny little uh, amounts of product so this is my second palette of pops and I've been disappointed with both also this formula gets hard pan very easily and hard pan bothers me the shadows still work when these hard pan but they bother me I just Mm, not really recommending that one. Okay, this next item is old, but it's at the top. This is the Tarte Nine Ways to Shine Cheek Wardrobe. I've had this for a while. This was one of the first releases for the holiday makeup season, and I don't want to talk about it too much because I've mentioned it in a couple of videos. But essentially, this is Tarte's blush product that they come out with. Normally, they come out with a palette, which I would have preferred if they had because I put that in my makeup kit because I like the formula and the colors that they usually put out. Out, but this is what they came out with instead and the packaging is a little bit not very functional in my opinion it's kind of it's a gimmick I mean honestly I enjoy the formula I don't think it's as good as the hourglass but this is $35 you get nine different cheek shades and you get quite a variety it's just kind of fun so that's why I picked it up that was why I was attracted to it I got sucked into the gimmick as well but the formulas themselves aren't bad I'm wearing this bronzer right now it's a very pretty bronzer the highlight does not move me I don't think the highlights very good to be honest I am wearing it but I don't really like it but I like the blush colors that are available I enjoy the bronzer and for me this was just kind of a novelty item I don't see it as something long term that I will be using but I've enjoyed picking these up for the holiday season and for my holiday videos I think that this is a great gift a great stocking stuffer but it is definitely not a necessity in your collection at all. Ooh, we have another Fenty Beauty item that I have just completely talked about way too much. The Bomb Baby 2 Mini Lip Gloss and Highlighter Set. You get a little mini gloss and then a highlighter, both of which are really great. I think this is going to flatter more fair skin tones just because of how bright and beaming this highlighter is, but really good set. I don't want to talk about it too much because I have already have, but 10 out of 10, $24 for that. 
fantastic. Next item, something I picked up a few weeks ago. This is the Bite Beauty Amuse Bouge Supercharged Lipstick Set. Bite Beauty usually comes out with some type of lipstick set every holiday season, and I had never previously tried their lipstick formula, and now I am obsessed. So it comes in this cute little box, and these are tiny itty bitty little cute tiny little lipsticks. Look at these, they're so cute. And this for me was a great way to become acquainted with the formula of this brand, and I really like it. It's a very smooth, creamy lipstick. So I'm wearing currently Ruby Bon Bon on my lips. And this particular set I think has very wearable co colors. It's nothing that is too outrageous. So I think a lot of people are going to like this set. You have a mixture of some pinky tones, mauvey tones, and then you of course have a bit of a brighter color for the season, but it's not too vibrant. It is still wearable. I really like this set. It is $21. You do get a very very small amount of product but for me it was about testing the formula getting a little bit of a variety in shades and so I think this is a really great stocking stuffer I think if you do not own any of these lipsticks from the brand and you've been wanting to try it is a very good formula so this is a great value I'm not disappointed with this at all I like the colors in it and you know if you have a million other lipsticks in your collection do you need this probably not I'm not one to judge though so this is good. Um, okay, so this next item that is showing up is from the Patrick Ta Monochromatic Moment. It is the blush, but I'm going to go ahead and just talk about the three items from the collection that I picked up because I featured it in my haul video and you guys seemed curious about me returning with my updates. So here it is. Generally speaking about this collection, I'm not in love with it. I don't think the formulas on any of these items are anything special if I'm being completely honest. What I do really like about this collection is the colors. I think no matter what you pick up from the collection they're all going to go well together and the whole idea behind the collection is a monochromatic moment. It's all gonna look good together on your face and that I agree with. I really like the colors. I like the curation of colors and being able to work together but I don't think the formulas are that great and to be honest the items are kind of expensive so first we have the blush I really like the mirrored packaging even though it's really annoying to film with the shade that I picked up is she's sincere which is a very pretty peachy blush it's kind of matte it's $32 for a singular blush the formula of this is a little bit more sheer which is not a bad thing I like a formula that can be built up I in fact, I prefer a formula that can be built up. But this I kind of had to build up a little bit too much. It took a little bit more time than a blush needed to. It's not a bad formula by any means, but it's not a special formula, if that makes sense. This color, though, is really pretty built up on the cheek. So I'm not knocking it, but it's not that special. So I also picked up a lip crayon. I don't know how much it is at the top of my head. In case you are curious, mine is in the shade. She's proud. And if you saw my video, my haul, where I tried this on, it's right here. I love this shade. It is a one of my ideal nude colors in my personal opinion. I think the packaging is just dumb. Um, you have to push it up to get it to go up, but you can't get it to go back down. Like I know he probably wanted to be different, but I would like to just be able to twist it up and down as I please. And also it's like this kind of tip. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, it's this kind of tip where <laughs> You see what I mean. It's like the ABH Brow Definer where when it kind of gets dull, it stays dull forever because you can't sharpen it. And so right now it's really nice because it's slanted and you can fill in the lip, you can turn it, you can define the outside, but that's not going to last long. The formula is a little bit more waxy, a little bit more drying, which I think is fine. It means the color is going to last longer, but if you don't like a more waxy, drying kind of lip liner formula, you're not going to like this. So again, not a formula that stands out, but it's pretty. And then this one, I think, in the collection, and this is on the uh, new arrivals, actually, the next one. This is the Silky Lip Cream. I picked mine up in She's Secure. Really liked the color. Really liked how this paired with the lip liner. Didn't love the formula. It has a slight minty sensation to it. It's a little bit thick and a little bit sticky. It's kind of a hybrid between a gloss and a lipstick. Doesn't really speak to me. I feel like 
I would have preferred to commit to one or the other rather than have a hybrid and that's just me personally I can see a lot of people enjoying this formula but like when I put it on I had to kind of work it to spread it out you know it didn't just glide on because it's a little bit more thick and sticky because it's kind of like that lipstick but formula to <laughs> I don't know. If you watch my video, you'll, you'll see me having to like work the color out across my lips once it was on. Very pretty. Pretty, but meh. Oh, okay. Something that I have not yet talked about, and I know you guys were curious about, is the Carly Bybel eyeshadow palette. This is $45. It's like the 100th ABH shadow palette that has come out. So, first of all, this palette, very gorgeous. It reminds me of the Huda Beauty Light nude obsessions palette that I just showed before kind of that similar vibe I like this one better though I just think the colors are a little bit prettier and I think this palette's different there aren't a lot of palettes like this on the market if you were going to get an ABH eyeshadow palette I would get the Jackie Ina one over this one this one isn't going to flatter everybody uh, it's very light and I like it a lot I liked the formulas I feel like some of the formulas might be a little bit inconsistent, but overall, I think it's nice. You get a nice mix of textures. This cool tone row is very unique here at the top. You can create some pretty simple wearable looks. You have some formulas here that are extremely creamy. So I wasn't disappointed in this palette, but just compared to some other palettes that I own, this one doesn't knock my socks off. I'm not unhappy that I own it at all. Don't really like the packaging either, and I can definitely create some really pretty looks but in my opinion it's just not abh's best i think had this come out at a time alone i would probably like it a lot more but i'm so overwhelmed with so much product and there just is better products out right now that are overshadowing this one okay next one speaking of abh is the norvina pro pigment volume three this is the pretty one with the butterflies and you have kind of an orange theme i do have a tutorial video where i did three looks using this palette i really enjoyed this one this whole pro pigment collection i think was fabulous even though i'm so annoyed for many reasons about it and you are too you can't deny that these aren't really good the formula of these are awesome this one is a really nice palette you can get a lot of unique looks i think that volume one is my favorite not this one but i was not disappointed with this one at all so if this color story speaks to you definitely go for it because it's really really nice quality really nice colors and you can create so many different looks just check out my tutorial video because i was in love with the looks that i created so really nice this is 60 dollars. it is still a big purchase but if you want to get creative definitely this one was good and of course coming up next that i have is the volume two this one i wasn't so crazy about of the three this one was my least favorite creative juices got flowing with this one created some really neat looks but just blues in general i just don't like the way that they apply to the eye it's a very hard formula to master and in my opinion they didn't really quite get there with mastering it but i mean it's still a really nice palette blues don't really speak to me in general so of the three i recommend this one the least if you are a blue lover and you are hardcore dying to pick up a blue palette i think this is a nice one okay we have a tom ford item next this is the solenage highlighter and blush stick i have mine in majeev i picked this up not at sephora when it first launched though and so this one's more suited i would say towards medium skin tones but i quite like it so you have a beautiful blush and it blends out so if you have a light skin tone don't get me wrong you can use it here is the highlight so a little bit deeper on me than i would prefer but it still it works so this is a beautiful cream formula as it should be because $55 but it just looks really natural on the skin I think for the everyday woman this is a wonderful product of course not everybody is going to be up to spending $55 for a highlighter and blush cream stick totally understandable but if you are on the market for a nice luxury cream highlighter blush kind of thing for the winter when your skin's really dry I think this is really nice and it looks very natural on the skin when you put it on you can put it on on bare skin just to give yourself a little bit of color a little bit of glow you're not going to get anything crazy with the highlighter but it just 
blends into the skin really nice. There is a time and a place for a formula kind of like this. If you are down to spend $55 on a really good cream formula, go for it. It's really nice. We're getting towards the end and my mouth is dry. I don't know how much longer I can go. Ooh, okay, we have a new item here that you guys did seem curious about. And I'm not gonna lie, I definitely want more time to try this out, but this is the Lunar Beauty Moon Spell Palette. Now, I did purchase this at Morphe itself, but they are selling it at Sephora as well. So I used it today to try it out. I only used three colors in this palette, so I have a long ways to go before I can give you my full in-depth kind of opinions on it, but I, so far, I'm really liking it from swatching. It's very, very pigmented. Today, I used this color, this color, which blended out very well, and then this color right here is all over my lid. Very creamy, very, like, a wet formula, which, beautiful on the eye, one of my favorite types of shimmer formulas, but also can decrease the the lifespan of this palette. But overall, I think Manny has found a really good formula. Now, I haven't really gotten to dig into these colors, especially the mattes that are kind of the telltale of the brand, but just from swatching and feeling the shadow itself, I normally can get a pretty good idea of my thoughts and how the shadows are going to go because I have so many eyeshadows and I have experienced so many formulas. So I think this is a winner. I really do. It's $48. It's a very pretty color scheme as well. I will continue to keep you updated as I use it more, but so far it's passing my test. And I've talked about this a lot. It was in my favorites, it was in a haul, and it was in a try-on, but you guys still seem super interested, and I'm going to give you swatches. So this is the Laura Mercier Cheek Canvas Soft Cheek Palette. It's $58, so it still hurts your pocket a little bit. Oops, but it is so pretty. I don't want to talk about it too much because I've already talked about it so much. I love it. I love the highlights. I love the blush. If you like a good bright cheek, you're going to really enjoy this. The highlights do emphasize a texture a little bit as highlights do, but I noticed it kind of a lot in this one, but not a bad thing because it is so beaming. But here are the swatches that you guys keep asking me for because I've showed you applying it, but I haven't showed you the swatches. So here they are. I did want to add that for you guys who were curious and wanted to see that. We're getting down to the end here, but I have have the Tarte Chrome for the Holidays set. Now these Tarte Chrome paints, these are the mini ones of the full size items that I love. I think this is a beautiful set. This is $24. You get four of the minis. Now just be wary that these are kind of a hot mess. If you move them around, they'll kind of separate and break up and explode. So these are the type of product where they're really great when you first purchase them and then over time they very quickly kind of lose how great they are but the thing that i love the most about this formula is how it looks in the pan and how you swatch it is literally how it looks for the eyes you are putting chrome foiled beautifulness all over the eyelid so i think this is a great way to try this formula because it's one of my favorites and you get a range of different colors so this was in here and um i really like it i bought this for my makeup kit because I've been keeping the big ones in there because I love them so much and sometimes people just really want that pop on the eyelid. I'm going to switch those out for these because these are a lot less heavy and I'm a weak girl. This is the last item that we're talking about and I'm so excited to talk about it. This is the Visi Art Dark Edit Eyeshadow Palette. You guys know I consider myself to be a bit of a Viseart connoisseur. I love Viseart. I own like a billion and a half palettes from them and this one is so good. Uh, such a very pretty color scheme. Very dark, very beautiful for fall. Normally colors this dark aren't really my thing. I don't really care too much to have these super dark kind of matte shades. I like a little bit of light to my eyes, but mm, the quality of this is so good. They're so buttery. It's $39. You get a good range of Visi Art shades to try because their other ones are like $80 for the full size. So this is a good way to get a little taste of the Visi Art formula on the go. And I think this is just a wonderful fall palette. If you do ever have the opportunity to get it on sale, I would recommend it. Which, by the way, I do know of a sale coming up that is going to feature this. I will keep you updated on that. But this is really good. I know this palette isn't the newest launch from Visi Art. And you guys did ask 
ask me about it when it came out and I just took a while to pick it up but yes since I've got it I really like it it's not something that I use a ton just because I don't go for colors like this but really neat color scheme actually totally lied one last thing to talk about this is an older item this is the Dior backstage custom eyeshadow palette what makes it unique I suppose is that it comes with a primer and a shadow to liner gel which I'm gonna be honest with you don't really use I think I tried it once and I was like mm, I don't think I did this right I really like this palette because I really like the colors wouldn't say that the formula is all that um this is $49 so it's big price for little item but these are great everyday colors I do find myself reaching for this palette quite often just because it's a not intimidating palette the colors aren't overly pigmented they run a little bit soft which for everyday is fantastic you can build the colors up to get a desired opacity so let me just show you like see they just work really well a reliable eyeshadow palette nothing to super write home about I don't know I mean they are really pigmented and they are really good quality it's not unique but it's good and I love the clear packaging of the backstage collection so I am happy that I have this this is the kind of palette that I bring with me to travel because it has every color that I feel like I need I love the cool tones in here so much cool tone neutrals are so in right now and I'm here for it I've never been too much of a warm eyeshadow kind of person even when they were all the rage I would like <laughs> I would grudgingly put on warm shades but love me some cool tones and purples and plums mm, beautiful okay so that sums up this super duper long video but <sighs> with it being the season that it is it's hard not to have so many products so I hope you guys found it helpful and I really hope you enjoyed it it was really fun for me to film and kind of go over everything with you guys because there's just I get so behind this time of year just with everything going on and all of the releases and my schedule I feel like I've gotten so behind this was a great way to kind of collect everything update you on things update you on things that I hadn't gotten the chance to fully review and yeah so thank you guys so much for tuning in with me I hope you had a good time if you are not yet subscribed to my channel yet I sure do hope you take the time to do so that would be awesome and I will see you guys in the next video bye guys have a good one. Oh my gosh I keep kicking this bag that's under my table I probably annoyed you the whole video with that okay bye